is DTLR Radio. All right, DTLR Radio, your fashion, your lifestyle. You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J. Hill, is in the building. And right now, we got a special guest, man. This guy caught fire just past the, the f- last few couple weeks, man. He blew up all over the internet, all over just your TV, everywhere. The real Cam Yonsei is in the building. What up, man? What's up, y'all? What's popping, bro? Nothing much. Just out here working. Just Most trying definitely. to make the DMV proud. Put our name back on the map because we got too much talent out here. Nah, definitely. So um, can we get straight into this this show? Uh, Catfish Trolls. Yes. <laughs> let's, let's talk about that. Like, first of all... What exactly is catfish catfish trolls? Because I heard of catfish, but uh-huh. I, this is like my first time actually hearing about catfish trolls. So catfish trolls is a new show. It's the first season that was out this year. Um, it's with Charlemagne the God and Raymond. Um, Raymond's an activist in the LGBT community. He has like seven degrees just based off social media and counseling. And everybody knows Charlemagne from the Breakfast Club and just the way he reacts to people. So Catfish Trolls is about confronting your internet hater. Okay. So either you can be bullied by them Mm -hmm. or you just want to just confront them because you're just tired of it. And it's the difference is between Catfish Trolls and Catfish is those people on there to people they dated and right. they was talking to for multiple times but catfish trolls is all about your hater like if you got people that's always in your inbox always adding you and you just like i don't even know you but no, you got definitely, a problem and, and in your yeah. case i'm assuming it had to be a hater can't be nobody bullying because yeah. i don't see um, nobody bullying you yeah and that's a lot of things everybody thought i went on the show because it was like oh he was bullying me or stuff like that it was not that at all because i can rumble with the best of them and my bite is bigger than my box too okay but it was just all about respect it was the things he was saying and it was just three years and I would have understood if like we had a mutual friendship or like a mutual passing but we never knew each other like seen each other anything he just didn't like me so you know um I actually saw um because I didn't know anything Mm -hmm. about it I seen it blowing up on all on social media all on my Instagram everybody was talking about it like this Mm -hmm. uh Roland Ray guy and Cam Yonce but before we get into that I want to know what exactly was he doing or like, how was he hating on you on Twitter? Because I seen, uh-huh. I seen what you wrote, but just for the people that didn't they read know. it. So, basically, it started three years ago. Well, now it would be four years. It started four years ago, and he was just basically... First, it started off as a celebrity beef. Everybody know I love Nicki Minaj. I'm going to ride to Nicki with Nicki for the wheels fall off. I don't care who you are and what you say about her. I'm going to still be a fan. Mm-hmm. And he's a little Kim fan. Okay. So, you already know how that go. Okay. Nicki and Lil' Kim is just like... She's been there, done that, and she's over with now. So why be mad? So it was first. It was just like little things. It was first. It was funny to me because I was just like, "You really upset about Nikki doing all of this?" So then it switched from me not even responding no more because I was like, "All right, I'm drained. I don't feel like keep arguing back and forth with the same person." And then it went from that to personal things. He was like, "Oh, one day he just woke up. Like it was random. He woke up and was like, you got AIDS.'" So at that time, I had 40,000 followers yeah, on that's Twitter. Not, that's not a good yeah, rumor Yeah, no, so I was spread. like, dang, I'm blowing up. And I can't have that attached to my name. Even though I know it's not true, I still got to prove myself because you said it out your mouth. And that's and definitely now, something yeah. big that's in the... Help me say it. In I the LGBT mess- community. Yeah, I don't want to mess it up. I don't want no problem. No, nah, they added so many letters, I thought it was the yeah. alphabet the other day. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely something that's in, in your community, and you yes. had to clear that out. So mm-hmm. how did you clear that up? I had to end up, uh, at the time, Periscope was popping, mm-hmm. and Periscope would just partner with Twitter. So basically all my Periscope followers was on my Twitter at this point. So I had to embarrassingly talk to my parents, tell my parents, like, hey, this is not true, because I have family members that follow me on social media, so I'm pretty sure they seen it so I had to just break down to my parents I had to call my friends to let my friends know like this is not true but I have to do ways to prove to everybody else but I want to call the people who's in my circle Mm -hmm. because anybody outside of my circle I really didn't care but I knew I had to prove myself so I ended up getting on Periscope and I went to my doctor and I had an STD test in front of everybody on Periscope so it was like it was embarrassing but at the same time I knew I had to do it just to clear my name and who I was as a person it's a shame how the internet um just just how negative things can attract mm-hmm. to you so so well when you're doing something positive or when right. you're shining. They say uh, when you when you're shining, the world can be like full of nets. So nets always yes. want to attract to you. So like, do you think you still have this this issue in the LGBTQ community when it's like just people hating on you and because I know people can be cruel. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like 
that's anybody. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't just say our community alone. It's just like just like you. You right. are successful. You don't sit on this radio. It's somebody that's sitting at home that feels like you don't deserve it, but they don't know what you worked hard for. Right. They don't know your story. Everybody see your glorification and all the good things, but they don't know the story. They don't know if you go home and just be like, dang, I do this because I have to, because of X, Y, and Z. Like nobody, everybody feel like everything is just handy, and it's Definitely. not like that at all. Like I really work hard for what I done. Being LGBT is just... It make everything harder for me right. out here because it's like, dang, a lot of people don't want to work with you because of your sexuality. A lot of people not going to want to work with you because of your attitude. And then just the stimulation of what they think of a gay male. Right. And then so it's just like, I want to be the voice for my LGBT community in the DMV area and hopefully around the world to say, don't give up because of your sexuality or who you are and people closing the doors because it's always a journey and don't forget that journey once you get to glorification. Well, you, you've been the voice, man. The <laughs> voice is here. The real Cam Yonsei is here. Yo, we're going to uh, go go into some music, take a quick break, and we're going to come back with this Catfish Trolls, all right? It's DTLR Radio, your fashion, your lifestyle. We back, right back at it. The real Cam Yonsei is in the building. And before we left off, we was talking... LGBTQ and the community, how people can be hating on you. Mm. I want to jump straight into this catfish troll. <laughs> this 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 rolling yes. Ray guy. How, <laughs> how would how could he possibly be hating on you so much? And that's the thing. At first, it was the beef wasn't with me. He didn't have beef with me. Right, I it was had, with Nicki Minaj. Mc- no, I had a former friend who did TV as well. Oh. That was on Bad Girls Club. Okay, and he was attacking her one night, and he. But the thing was how I found out, I started searching his name on Twitter. Mm-hmm. When you search his ad name on Twitter, you can see him beefing with everybody. And his oh, he's main just a thing, troll, period. He beefed with all the rappers. <laughs> if you're doing anything successful, he's mad. Okay. Because he feels like you don't deserve it. Well, damn, but I must who, not be doing something uh, something right because he ain't been beefing with me. <laughs> no, get a Twitter. He'll be at you. As <laughs> soon as he hear this, he'll be at you in a minute. But so what happened? He just... He just started going at it with my friend. So, of course, that being my friend, I'm going to be like, wait, you're a boy. Right. And at that time, the picture, I didn't see no wheelchair. I just seen upper body. Okay. So, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, remember with the best of them, you, you saying this to my friend, I'm going to correct you. So, from there, it it stopped. And then a month later, that's when he started coming at me. Then I was like, okay, so now you don't like me. Now there's a problem with me. Now you feel like I don't deserve this and you got all this to say. But it was just like, you don't know me. Right. So, so y'all get on a show and I see you through. No, he actually wrote the show, which the Wait, crazy what? He wrote the show. Oh. So let's go ahead and just say what that now f- because he tried to put that on the internet like that was a bad thing. He wrote the show to try to say I was bullying him. Oh. And he tried, but the thing was, several people, he wrote into the show with several people. I'm not the only one he tried to write into. He had like six people lined up to be on the show. So I'm like, okay, everybody, they called us and was like, yeah, we're trying to see why was you trolling him and mm-hmm. all of this. So I'm like, I'm not no troll. You can research. I clap back with the best of them. If you say something to me, I'm going to at you back. That's all it is to it. Okay. So that's when they did their research and they was like, hold up. He's the troll? And I was like, right. So they was just like, yeah, we got to do this episode. We're going to make him think that we're about to throw y'all under the bus. So he really solely thought the show was going to be based to destroy me. He wanted to destroy me. He thought his chair was going to comfort him because he was deleting his tweets to make it seem like I was arguing with myself. In my response, you can tell I wasn't arguing with myself. I'm not going to be like, why did you say this and say something back? And I was just like, it was crazy. So (laughs) first of all, I just want to know why why is Charlamagne the guy on this show? Why is the show He's on perfect show? for the show. And let me tell you why he's perfect. Because when I first met him, I said, oh, my God, I got to deal with Charlamagne. One, you don't like Nikki right now, and I can't just really <laughs> fuck with you. Because you used to be her best friend. Now you just hating on her. So I was like, mm. So we had to check that at the door. Before we even had a conversation, before camera started rolling, I had to check that. I was like, hold up. Let me tell you now. I'm a Nikki fan, and don't be playing with her while I'm on this show. So is the beef? So the beef, I feel like, okay, let me just say this. It was never no beef from Jump. Okay. I don't beef with people if you don't know my birthday. Okay. You don't know my birthday, so we don't have no beef. And I feel like we never been friends. We never had a conversation. We never knew each other in passing. So it's no beef. You're just mad. So, of course, to this day, he's still mad. So he has a beef with himself, okay. but not with me. So what about the real Cam Yonsei? What you got going for yourself now? 
So right now, I am partnering up with Make a Difference. Um, at the end of the month, we're doing a school drive for That's kids, dope. for 200 kids. We're trying to purchase supplies for them and backpacks. So if you are in the DMV and you would like to donate, definitely DM me so I can meet up with you or my team. Um, I'm doing my nail business. I'm about to open my own nail salon. So right now, I'm going to nail school because I didn't want to open a business and didn't know what I was talking about. That's what's up. So, and then I got some pretty girl counties for all my pretty girl county, all my girls that's hustling and boss up out here. So we got some little things coming up. Nah, some TV I seen, shows. I seen your uh, your following grew crazy yes, since overnight, the show. Yeah. I used to have ten thousand. I had thirty three k, and That's it's growing up. every hour. I get a thousand followers every hour. Congratulations, thank man. you. Congrats, thank man. You. So I heard you had a song coming out of something. Yes, I have a song. It's not a diss song. Uh -oh. I, I'm not. You sure we ain't sending shots? It might be a little shots, but it's <laughs> for everybody. Roll out or something? <laughs> yeah, you know, roll up, cool off, because you know. I'm going to do a little something, but I don't want to focus on making my my brand Just, based off destroying him. I get it. Like, I feel like the TV, the America seen it all, so I don't need to keep wasting I my breath. I mean, breath. a few people made their career out of destroying somebody. I mean, you might yeah, be the next one. Yeah, you, know, you know, I might drop a little beat, but I'm going to make sure it's a diss song that all the girls can rock to. This song is for my ladies, for the dudes, because your girlfriend going to be listening to it, so you ain't going to have no other choice but to rock it. Okay. I'm thinking about Snapchat. I just want my girls to feel good, because there's a lot of girls out here that's bossed up or feel like they not going to win their career, but they really out here doing it. Like, you, you're better than you were at point A because now you're at point B Definitely. how you get from point A to point B you grew so you gotta realize those little small things so I just want my girls to feel good because there's a lot of hate out here. We just need love. No, nah, most definitely, man. When you get it, uh, make sure you send it to us so we can play it definitely. on our DTL radio definitely. and get rock all the fans to, to, to rock with it. But uh, before you go, let the people know where they can follow you at and everything. Yes, you all can follow me on all my social medias at The Real Cam Yonce. Again, that's The Real Cam Yonce. T H E R E A L C A M Y O N C E. And that's on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Definitely, man. If you have anything else to say, man, that was a pleasure interviewing yes. you. We got some things squashed, and that was it. Thank you. All right, man. It's DTLR Radio, your fashion, your lifestyle.